Hey everybody, welcome to What the Flick. Uh, that is Bibbs, that's Meredith, that's Alonzo. I'm Matt, we're talking about episode three of The Defender's Worst Behavior. <laughs> But maybe best episode so far? Uh, it's good, it's yeah. good stuff it's good. in this episode. It's the one in which we learned that Istanbul was Constantinople, <laughs> now it's Istanbul, not Constantinople. Okay. Why did Istanbul <laughs> Constantinople get the works? Uh, uh, you know, that's what we just with the tricks. Right, okay, okay. Um, so yeah, so we, we start out with the, the flashback of uh, of the, the discovery of, of the Electra's body and the, the birth right. of the black sky. Um, I was, Electra is the Dougie Jones of this show, can I just say? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. And, uh, so, and, and okay, now what is it, what's the significance when she is, when they're, when they're retraining her and she's looking at all the weapons, they show the size, yeah. she right. looks she at pause. them, mm -hmm. but she moves on to something else. Like it's because it'll be cooler when she uses the size later. Well, well I think it's to, yes, sh I think it's to I show mean, us that she's not just an empty vessel, like maybe there is hmm. some part of Electra still That she's in holding there. herself Instead back. she goes and gets two very obvious uh, wooden plastic prop swords that <laughs> stick together Twin and come blades. apart. Yeah, yeah. I, I will say this: as badass as Sigourney Weaver is, and she's one of the most badass actors we've mm -hmm. ever had. Um, I get that they're trying to convince us that she's a kung fu master. It she doesn't read. Yeah. It doesn't read. <laughs> they're doing their best. I'm willing to let it go. Well, look, well, I'm sorry, Electra yeah. fighting off eight guys uh, with no weapons mm -hmm. is like a more legit fight scene than 90% of anything that happened on Iron Fist. Yeah. Agreed. And I think I think it's interesting to, to give us this, like why does Sigourney Weaver know such good uh, fight, like why is she such a good kung fu master as yeah. you well? Like there's, I wanna know, it makes me wanna know more about her story. Who is well, she? Where does she really come she from? She talks about Constantinople yeah. and she's called Alexandra. I'm like, yeah. are they gonna pull like a Vandal Savage thing and we're gonna find out she was Alexander the Great? Mm. Like that's my thought. Like yeah. we're gonna find out like it goes that far back. Maybe. Does she always regenerate yeah. as a woman? Oh, oh. Uh, like though, the doctor. Well, <laughs> actually, wanna, in all the old documents, it's yeah. women's names in the signature. So. Though I do yeah. wanna, I do wanna say like if I were that um, uh, waiter and chef. Uh, restaurant owner bringing mm -hmm. her a place and trying. I would not correct her on Constantinople. Yeah, like, no, no, no way. Let's be real. You know, we all know what you meant. Yeah, let's yes. not. Let's not go there. Um, so so uh, yeah, we've. It's, it's stick goes full coyote to escape and yeah. takes his that own hand so off. Good. That was so good. That was kind of awesome. Yeah, yeah. that was yeah. really yeah. good. He's, he's, he's fun. I like stick, yeah. I like him too, he's neat. Um, and so, then uh, we, we get, mm. I think the thing that we're kind of looking forward to, not just because it's the Defenders, but because mm. of their extensive history together, is we finally get Claire hooking Luke Cage and Danny Rand up. Yeah, I yeah. like, yeah. I like she's the one person who knows everybody. Yeah. Right, and I like that. He's, you know, he's putting ice on his face, just yeah. like what happened, and he's like, "Oh, I got punched," and you know, mm -hmm. and she's asking about it. It's like eh, skinny white kid, hand glows, and she's like, "Oh, I know. I, let me make a yeah. call." Right. <laughs> right, and then the first thing we hear out of them, he's like, "He punched me." Well, he punched me. Like, <laughs> all right, boys, come on. Yeah, I, I like, you know, as much as I really liked Luke Cage as a series, mm -hmm. I like that this gives that character the kind of opportunity to be like, the fuck man, come on, yeah. Yeah. right? Like there's that. There's a counterpoint. Mm -hmm. Right, there's Welcome a counterpoint. to the Marvel Universe. Right, <laughs> and, and as much as he's super powered, mm -hmm. but he's still grounded, and so the minute Danny starts talking about all the mystical stuff, <laughs> he's just like, come on. <laughs> and that's the Luke yeah. Cage that I think we all kind of have been wanting to see. Mm -hmm. Like, cause he's just, he's got that, Somewhat, not as so much as kind of like world weary as Jessica is, but it's more along the lines of like, are you kidding? This is ridiculous. And he says that, and that's really fun. Yeah, and it leads yeah, to a great right. argument between it, him and Danny. It to, does to, yeah. to get the full effect of him being this sort of like, like you say, like ground level blue collar hero. You have to put him in a room with one of the like, you know, people. Yeah. Right. Like, what really? Come on. Well, and, it, and it really works on multiple levels because you know Danny represents you know uptown. Mm -hmm. New York, the the born into privilege, and sure enough, Luke Cage even gives him that. But then when you think about it, you know, Luke Cage gets powers because he goes to jail. Danny loses his parents. Okay, fine. But then like this billionaire kid loses his parents and then immediately becomes the chosen one. Well, not immediately, but, but he he still he like worked for it. He worked and he for it. He lets you know right. that he and worked, he worked for, for it, and then he abandoned it, it because yeah. it there was a, his yeah. individual interests. I, I love the bit there is mm -hmm. like there was a test. There was a dragon, and Luke's like, yeah. no, there wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Shut your mouth, like, right? It, it was really nice, though. I mean, I I loved Luke's. I mean, obviously, Luke's speech to Danny is very topical, mm. but 
Dan, it, it finally shook Danny. It finally mm -hmm. gave me like, oh, okay, you get it. You're starting to see it's not just about punching things. Then you have Colleen in the back saying, no, just punch everything. It's fine, punch yeah. it all. But yeah. it was like, finally, it was almost like that we're sorry for Iron Fist moment. I feel like they had addressed this though in Iron Fist, the idea that he was addressing every issue as a kung fu monk, a warrior, and then he's like, oh right, I'm a billionaire, I have access to all these things. We addressed this in Iron Fist. I, but, this was a lesson he had already learned, and it's kind of, I just- No, but, but hearing it from Luke Cage mm. just, it, it made it stick. It had it had more heart. Mm -hmm. It came from an actual place of Luke saying, "Here, I'm here trying to defend a person. You have to think about the collateral damage around you. You are going to punch this kid. This kid is is a human, and and he gives like a voice to the to the henchman, yeah, if you will, from exactly. last step, uh, last review. So I think I think it was a very important dynamic. It's also very important of their relationship stemming back from you know the 70s and and then the comics. Like yeah. it, it gave me that moment that I've been wanting to see. All series, like between the every series, is like give me Luke and and Danny together, and actually like fighting and then working together. And, yeah. and, and, and it was worth it. It was a good yeah. way. And so often in the comics, we get these millionaire characters, mm -hmm. and they wind up spending their millions on like cool fortresses and neat, you know, weapons mm -hmm. and planes yeah. and whatever. And it's like, no, you're a white rich guy, which means you can actually foment change in society. That mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. no matter that all the punches that I can do are not going to ever deliver. Sure. And so it's like let's. Let's 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 work that angle yeah, for a while. It's one of the reasons why where I think that's the, go. the Dark Knight Rises is a little underrated because it actually challenges the idea of that in yeah. a way that few things ever did, mm -hmm. and then gets back to the good stuff, much like this does here because this ends in uh, a neat fight. Well, so well, I, you know we see all the stories mm -hmm. get everybody to that point, right? right? So you see Jess doing the you know girly girl thing at the architecture yes. firm, and she's working her case, which mm -hmm. is really yeah. fun, uh, and she's been she. Gets pictures of Matt. Matt, yeah, yeah. yeah. Then she right. follows him. Right, she, like, yeah. they tail each other. Yeah. Right, which is, I couldn't figure out if she knew he was following her. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah. she yeah. does. She and that's why she, she ducks she's that. Yeah, right. mm -hmm. she knows how to tail, so she knows she's being tailed. So she manages to lose him, and then she tails him, and then takes the picture. Right, and then we see Luke, who goes and visit. It's Cole's mom, Debbie Cole, no. Morgan oh, from right. All My Children. Right. <laughs> well, and mm -hmm. Cole, attention must be paid. Who's the last surviving kid? Knows yeah. he's gonna, mm -hmm. he's yeah. gonna get it. Yeah. Right, like he knows he's not gonna survive. Mm -hmm. That whole the the, the like, thing of like take her scratch tickets yeah. is a brilliant way to. I like, liked you know. how that played out. That was yeah. actually yeah. a clever bit of storytelling, and how that wasn't just. Uh, window dressing that was actually like important, mm -hmm. but in an organic, nice way. I like yeah. that a lot. Yeah. And then you got to be there for the moment when she finds out he's dead, and that's really useful right now because again, everything is so big, everything is so ninja, everything is so immortal. It's important to remember that people are dying, and it matters. Yeah, yeah. You know, just people suffer mm -hmm. because of this. Yeah, this is a woman who yeah. lost one daughter to what, uh, Cottonmouth or whatever, like yeah. somebody on uh, uh, Luke Cage, and now two kids to this hand mm -hmm. thing. And yeah. so it's like, yeah, you're right. It, it does again. The, the you know. This, I think they're doing an interesting job by bringing these characters together. It sort of forced them to do storytelling on a big, broad expanse, but also on a like apartment right. by apartment, yeah. you know, a way as well. So a couple things I really liked in this one is, first of all, Danny goes up into that room and starts like threatening everybody, and Alexander comes in and says, "Oh, I'm in charge, mm -hmm. right?" Mm -hmm. And there's a great moment, just like, "Oh, I've dealt with Iron Fist before. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you, I'm not going to kill." No. Yeah. Um, we've got Matt. And Jess in the lobby, mm -hmm. right? And he break or he grabs her, and she says, "You grab me again, I'll punch you so hard you'll you you'll see." see. <laughs> right? I like that line mm -hmm. a lot. I like that her scarf finally paid off. Yes. Yeah, and, and, he, and he breaks her camera too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And but then then we get this, we get uh, the latest in the long line of great hallway fights, mm, where well, uh, yeah, yeah. But yeah. before we even get to the mm -hmm. hallway, I love that that there's the boardroom where. It's like, well, all right, everybody looks a little young yeah. to be there. And it's, oh, it turns out they're all ninjas sitting yeah, at the conference in, table. Like, so, like, so I, and it made me like, did Alexandra set this up to like trick Danny or does she just have a boardroom full of young ninjas that help runs her company? Yeah. It was I, the I, Wednesday I, meeting. I'm very confused. Yeah. I don't think she delegates a lot. Yeah. I think she does all the work and she just keeps ninjas around yeah. on the off chance. But I do like that it is obviously yeah. the Wednesday meeting. I think a good touch would have been if there were donuts on the table. Yeah. I think that yeah. would have been yeah. a Evil, really effective show. Scary choice. ninja donuts. I'd ninja be really donuts happy if there were donuts yeah. on right. this table. <laughs> there you go. Yes. That's a good idea. I know. We'll do that We've tomorrow. done something yeah. wrong. Uh, yeah, and then Luke comes in and you see that, like, all right, sure, I'll just block the 
bullets. Yeah. And yeah. Danny and, then punches people. And Danny like immediately starts using him as a shield too. It's like it's yeah. good you see like them like actually like playing right. off of each mm -hmm. other, doing things they couldn't have done otherwise. Yeah. Uh, and then of course Electra shows up like the T1000 just yeah. at the end of the hallway, like, oh God, um, uh, yeah, and, all right, uh, Matt, Matt, that's your right. job. And Danny iron fists yeah. her sword, which oh, I that was, was cool. Fun. That was a yeah. neat thing to do. All right. Yeah, that yeah. was a so, great fight. Good episode, yeah. good episode. Yeah. Good episode. Yeah. Well, finally. Well. All right, we'll be back talking about four tomorrow. <laughs>